Hello everyone. In this lesson, we look at another method to find the nth term of a quadratic sequence. A quadratic sequence is generated by the formula tn equals a n squared plus b n plus c. tn is called the nth term or the general term. If we have the values of a, b and c, we can find any term in the sequence and the position of any term in the sequence. Look at the sequence 1, 4, 9. Let's figure out what the next number will be. This number pattern is a sequence of squared numbers. Term 1 is 1 squared, which is 1. Term 2 is 2 squared, which is 4. Term 3 is 3 squared, which is 9. So the fourth term will be 4 squared, which is 16. Each time we squared n to give us the next number in the pattern. This is an example of a quadratic sequence with tn equal to n squared. Usually, quadratic sequences are not that easy. Let's do a more complicated one together. Look at the pattern 4, 7, 12, 19. It's not easy to say what the general term is by looking at the numbers. Term 2 minus term 1 is 3, and term 3 minus term 2 is 5. So it is not a linear number pattern. Could it be quadratic? A quadratic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the second difference between each consecutive term is constant. So to tell if a sequence is quadratic, we need to see if there's a constant second difference. Let's look at the number pattern again. The first difference between the terms is not constant. 7 minus 4 is 3, 12 minus 7 is 5, and 19 minus 12 is 7. Now we work out the second difference between the terms and get a constant second difference of 2. So the sequence must be quadratic. However, it is not as easy to find the nth term for this sequence as it was for the first sequence. Remember the general term for quadratic sequence is tn equals a n squared plus b n plus c. We need to develop a method to find the values of a, b and c that will work for all quadratic sequences. Let's look at a method to find the value of a. To find term 1, you substitute 1 in place of n in the general formula. So term 1 is a plus b plus c. This represents the values that are used to make the first term of any quadratic sequence. Similarly, term 2 is 4a plus 2b plus c when we substitute 2 in the place of n. For term 3, we substitute n is 3 and get 9a plus 3b plus c. And term 4 is 16a plus 4b plus c, when we substitute n is equal to 4. Now that we've found the algebraic representation of each term, let's arrange them as we would a normal number pattern. Let's work out the first difference between these first four terms. We write down each of the terms in a sequence and subtract successive terms to find the first difference. Term 2 minus term 1 gives 3a plus b. Term 3 minus term 2 gives 5a plus b. And term 4 minus term 3 is 7a plus b. Now that we've found the first difference, let's work out the second difference. 5a plus b minus 3a plus b equals 2a. And 7a plus b minus 5a plus b is equal to 2a. As expected, since we are working with a quadratic sequence, the second difference is a constant. Using this number pattern, we can solve for a, b, and c by using the first term. The first difference between the first and second term and the second difference. This means that a plus b plus c is equal to 4. 
3a plus b is equal to 3 and 2a is equal to 2. This is the easiest equation to solve for, so let's start with this one. If 2a is equal to 2, it means that a is equal to 1. Let's use the value of a to solve for b by substituting it into the second equation. The second equation was 3a plus b is equal to 3. By substituting a is equal to 1, we find that b has a value of 0. Let's use a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 to solve for c. The final equation we need to use is a plus b plus c is equal to 4. Substitute the known values into it and we get 1 plus 0 plus c is equal to 4. Solve for c and we get c is equal to 3. The last step in this process is to put it into the general term, giving us tn is equal to 1n squared plus 0n plus 3. Simplified, this reads as tn is equal to n squared plus 3. You should always check if your general term is correct by finding one of the terms in the given sequence. For example, term 3 is 12. Let's see if our formula works. To check, you simply substitute n equals 3 into the equation you found. We substitute 3 for n in the equation n squared plus 3 and get 3 squared plus 3, which is 9 plus 3, and that is equal to 12. So we do get the right answer, so our general term is correct. Let's recap what you've learnt in this lesson. To find the value of a in the quadratic formula, tn equals a n squared plus b n plus c, we divide the second difference of the quadratic sequence by 2. To find the value of b, we use the fact that the first term of the first difference is equal to 3a plus b. And lastly, to find the value of c, once we have the values of a and b, we use the fact that the first term of the quadratic sequence is equal to a plus b plus c. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Number Patterns task video. You'll also be able to learn more about number patterns on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.